Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is for the end of November. I pray you're well and let's get into it. Gemini. Wow, you got the Tower, Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. So I definitely do feel like there's a sudden change, a sudden shift, a sudden shift within love and finances. I definitely do see um, an opportunity coming in as it pertains to your your passion towards something or someone. You got judgment in the reverse with the six of wands. I feel like towards the end of the year, you're seeing things in a way. Okay, let's put it this way. You may have an opportunity to judge your situation or judge your life or what's transpiring in your life, but because judgment's in the reverse, you're choosing to see that what's transpiring is happening for you. It's not happening to you. So you're surrendering to what needs to go, what needs to be destroyed, what needs to be tackled, so to speak. All right, so that new doors can open, new opportunities can come in, new love or new ways to love. All right. Yeah, because with the Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, this is victory. This is, you know, you getting through a difficult time or you getting through something that was meant to damage you or hurt you or wound you or leave you stuck, stagnant and in pity. Instead, you you looked at a situation from the lenses of thank you. You know, it's more so gratitude here. Yeah, with the King of Cups, you're maintain you're maintaining a mature way of handling things emotionally. Like you're not letting your emotions get the best of you. You got the Four of Cups here. I feel like after this tower or going into December, there are some things that you may need to separate from. Queen of Wands. Um, yeah, with the star, you're being taken to higher heights. You got the lovers here. So you could be transcending or ascending with a lover. However, the Four of Cups is just giving me an energy of thinking about something or someone too hard um this is pulling you back when the universe is actually pulling you forward ace of pentacles and the chariot i'm sorry not the chariot the six of wands because this is like backtracking after success this is also giving me the energy not knowing how to really rest in the success that you are experiencing or that you just experienced Maybe you are reflecting on this tower moment. It could be giving a more sheesh, that was close type of energy. All right. So that's like be aware. That's giving me the energy of being aware of not being able to uh, relish in your success or being around Debbie Downers or people who don't allow you to fully embrace your accomplishments. All right. Because you have support, you have people around you who care about you. Yeah, you have succulents, resilience. Yeah, that's what this is giving me. The tower with the six of wands with resilience here. Succulent plants are very significant, but I feel like with the succulent plant, be aware of people feeling like you don't need to be filled or you don't need to be nurtured or nourished because, you know, a succulent plant doesn't really need water. It can just do what it does on its own but you should still give it water though right yeah this is giving me an abundance energy too i'm getting cornucopia with this card i love the colors on that card here so you're being resi resilient at this time i feel like december will the beginning of december will test you on where you are as far as their ex access Okay, as far as the access to success that you're receiving here. Gemini. Yeah, blame here. This is giving me um, survivor's remorse or something like that. Or feeling like 
you got through something or you were able to establish success through sorrow or something like that with the tower six of wands but there were people who you know chose another path that's not your fault so don't blame yourself i accept responsibility for my well-being all right so that's what i got jimmy i pray it helps see y'all in the next one peace